Yeah, my name's Chase Selman. Job title is team manager. Uh, I do a little bit of, a little bit of everything, uh, from day-to-day -day logistics, managing the crew, managing the the car and equipment, um, managing HR, finances. So, the day, uh, whatever it brings, it's a little bit, little bit here and there. Yeah, I have been with Dryer and Rumble for 15 years. Been around racing my whole life, though. I've been managing the team since it's been about seven years now. Yeah. 31. A lot of it's luck, you know, a lot of it's, uh, you know, I, I feel like I've worked hard to get to this position, starting from a, um, a grunt worker. Um, but, um, you know, I've been fortunate enough to be given quite a few opportunities by Dennis, our current owner, and, and uh, you know, he's looked after me and, and, you know, I hope thought that I did a good job and, and moved me up through the through the years. So. Yeah, really, actually, I mean, Dennis is, you know, obviously my boss now, but my dad's most of the reason why I, I'm at where I'm at um, at a young age as well. He, uh, my dad worked for Gallus Racing uh, out of New Mexico, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and, you know, during the old days, uh, they used to have to travel quite a bit. So for me to spend time with him, I'd have to go, go on the road with him and, uh, you know, kind of hang out, and that was from six, seven years old. Um, you know, so doing that, I spent several months on the road, and you, you know, you get bored, so you start waxing, you know, wheels and trucks, and you start giving more responsibility, and uh, you just move your way up from there. You know, start being asked to uh, to do things for a paycheck, which is never bad, and uh, you know, it's uh, it's kind of taken off from there. You know what, actually. It, I knew that I had an opportunity in racing at a young age. Um, I, before I left for college, tried to get out of racing. Um, just, you know, wanted to do something else. Um, and I always fell back into, you know, how, how good we have it here on a race team. A ton of work, a ton of responsibility, um, you know, a lot of time away from the family, but uh, really, really, uh, you know, good group of people. Um, and there's a lot of perks in the industry as well. So, you know, I come back to, to all that and just say I had it pretty good. So my wife, Brooke, um, been married four or five years. Uh, we've got two kids, four and two, uh, they're our life right now. Um, you know, whenever I'm not at work, I'm with them. So yeah, the reason, you know, the reason that first of all, it works for my family is my wife, um, grew up in the industry as well. Um, her sister's Danica Patrick, um, so she gets it, you know, why I'm working late or why I'm um, doing the things I got to do. Um, so that works for me. That that helps me out um, on the family side. So, um, and then my brother, um, he is, he's married to Jamie Little. So we've got a little bit of a NASCAR connection there as well. Cody also, Cody, my brother, also worked in NASCAR. Um, and you know went up the ranks there in his career and then got out of it uh, but also you know met Jamie there and um, the family just kept growing I'd like to win a race that'd be a, a huge memory I haven't won I haven't won one you see my dad win his first race was always you know was a cool cool thing for me to see I'd like for you know whether it's us or or his team to win this thing you know I'd like for one of us to get it but as far as memories from the past, I mean, anytime we, we come to Indy, it's, it's a special feeling. You know, whether it's, uh, you know, the driver or the, the people, you know, just the environment. Every time you come here, it's special. So it's, you know, I can remember every single year I've come here. I can tell you pretty much everything about those years. Um, there's just something that sticks in your mind about racing here. I'd like to, I think my, I'll go back to my dad. He's he's known in the industry as being you know one of the hardest workers kind of does a little bit of everything no matter what it takes gets it done and I think I'd like to just carry that on as you know when you think of the Selmans uh, whether it's my brother or my dad anybody that that that's what we're known for is is our work ethic and whatever it takes to get things done we're gonna do it